That was Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer speaking candidly with President Biden about his assessment of where Democrats stand in key races, casting some doubt on Senator Raphael Warnock's chances of holding on to that Senate seat in Georgia. Right now, the Senate split is evenly, Senate is evenly split 50-50. Republicans just need to pick up one seat to gain the majority, and the polls are showing very tight races in battleground states. Joining me now, Rachel Bittacoffer, political strategist and host of The Cycle on Substack, and Cornell Belcher, pollster and Democratic strategist and MSNBC political analyst. Thank you both very much for coming back to The Sunday Show. Rachel, do you agree with Senator Schumer's analysis that Democrats are going downhill in Georgia? I mean, yes and no. I always expected to be in this exact position as we closed into Election Day. Most voters don't tune in to politics uh, until right at the close. And what we're seeing is this latent partisanship from the campaign activities reminding the Georgia electorate it is a, a heavily independent, right-leaning electorate. So this was always going to be the case. I expected uh, that race to come down to the wire, and so it doesn't surprise me at all. And Cornell, what did you think about Senator Schumer's assessment? <laughs> I don't think anything of it whatsoever, quite frankly. Oh. What I will say is, we, we, you know, we, we are obsessed about polls, and frankly, <laughs> we're too obsessed the about the pollster. <laughs> pollster. Because here's the thing: poll, poll, <laughs> we want polls to sort of tell us what the future is going to be, and polls can't do that. There's too many variables. There's literally hundreds of variables at play. And determining how a race comes out, and a, and a poll and a poll can't tell you what the future is. Of course, Georgia's going to be close, right? What was it last time around? It was 49-49. It was an incredibly close state. It's Herschel, you know, all those two point some million voters who voted for her, for for Donald Trump. You think they're not going to vote for Herschel Walker? Of course they are. So of course Georgia's going to be close. What we can't see is what the turnout looks like. Mm -hmm. And from every indication, uh, Cape Hart, it is from across these battleground states is we're going to have a turnout that does not look like any of the the majority of the last midterms. Look, Cape Hart, you usually get around 43, 44 percent turnout in a, in a typical midterm. 2018 was an outlier. We got, what, 54, mm -hmm. 55 percent turnout. We got a majority of Americans voting in, 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 a, in a midterm election. It looks like we're going to have, a, yet again, the majority of eligible voters voting in a midterm election. And so a lot of these models are going to be off because, quite frankly, a lot of these models aren't, aren't accounting for this increased turnout with young people and particularly with, with, women, with women voters.